What is Hall effect? Consider a conductor in which electricity is flowing from right to left. This means the electrons in the conductor would be flowing from left to right. If this conductor is placed in an external magnetic field, in this case coming out of the plane of paper, then the electrons would face an external force in the downward direction. This force would create an accumulation of charges, thus creating a potential difference across the conductor. This effect is known as the Hall effect. For this video, I would be using the 3144 Hall effect sensor. Here is the sensor with respect to centimeter and with an inch. The sensor is very small, thus making it convenient for project applications. The pinout of the 3144 sensor is something like this. The pin 1 is 5 volts, the second pin is the ground and the third pin is the digital output. Here is the sensor itself and here is the pull-up resistor. Next comes the VCC and the ground lines. I also designed some special connectors to connect the sensor to the multimeter. After connecting it, I brought in the multimeter and set it to volts. After connecting the sensor to the multimeter, it directly reads high. But the magic happens when I bring in the south pole near the sensor. The voltage drops. After this, making this discovery, it was now time to connect the project with the computer with Arduino. With the Arduino's integrated pull-up resistor, we don't need the resistor that we put on the breadboard and we can directly connect it to the Arduino. After this, I started the Arduino IDE program and then opened the digital read sketch from the example section. There the only modification was the pull-up resistor. I then attached a magnet to the motor shaft to spin it near the Hall effect sensor. The output of the sensor was not surprisingly a square wave with the following terminology. The square wave that we got as an output. The time difference between two crests of the square wave is the time period of the shaft's revolution. To capture these falling edges, we need to utilize the digital interrupt function of the Arduino. Interrupts are always the priority for the microcontroller. When the interrupt condition is met, in this case the falling edge, the microcontroller quits the original loop to follow the ISR route. Here the computer screen is showing a revolution speed of 2.33 revolutions per second while you can see the actual revolutions on the screen. Here we are with an exact match. I hope you like this short clip about the Hall effect. Thanks.